Kara, I wanted to dive a little deeper into the sentiment that went into the comment that you made here on one of John's videos. First, I wanna start by pointing out that this is actually pretty typical rhetoric from what I've come across in our little corner of the internet called Mormonism. And I'd like to understand the sense of glee that former members of the church often express in attempting to shatter someone's worldview in a rather violent way, it's troubling. But honestly, I sense it comes from a place of pain and hurt. The problem with this though, that this particular video that you made this comment on is fraught with misinformation. And I don't just mean it was taken out of context. I mean, it's outright wrong. There's no subjectivity to it. I talk about it here. Additionally, the way the argument is being presented is deceptive. Its intent is to make a believing member or a curious bystander actually conclude that these two texts are practically identical. And John has specifically stated that he likes TikTok for the reason that a single viral video can reach hundreds of thousands or millions of people very quickly. It's more than a little bit concerning. And I hate that we've allowed our community to get to this. So let's collectively care a little deeper and do a little better to present the data as it is. We shouldn't have to lie or use deception to support our worldviews or drive our preferred narrative. That's all, thanks.